Hey guys, Jason Sayers back here once again with another drum reaction video. Today I'm checking out the legendary Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters and I'm sure it is no news to any of you by now about his tragic passing and it was a shock um, to see someone go at such a young age even though we now understand a bit more about the circumstances as to how he passed. Um, but the drumming community has lost yet again another all-time great. I mean, it's the only drummer that could fill Dave Grohl's shoes um, and the only one that ever really got accepted by Dave Grohl for the Foo Fighters. And the guy is an utter legend and just came across as the nicest person um you could ever witness and is very guilty of the drummer faces as i'm sure we're going to see in this uh video that i've selected personally today of a drum solo that i've seen him perform and it's one of my favorites so let's dive in let's all appreciate for ever the absolute sheer talent of this guy let's do it I love that high rise. <laughs> Make a drum solo musical. Such a performer. <laughs> Oh wow. I'm going to declare I was quite blind because I actually missed that big old drum up there. <laughs> the orchestral drum. <laughs> I'm sure a drum like that has never been played like that before. <laughs> Hello, Rock and Roll! Are you with us? 
sorry that video uh, stopped a bit abruptly then and I wasn't quite expecting it so um, this will be my first ever edit mid video um, but what what a phenomenal drummer um, he is going to be an incredible loss to the drumming community as I said earlier um, going back to that drum solo performance um, just after I say the words he makes it very musical or make a drum solo musical um, I actually got taken back to a previous reaction that I did to um, Chester Thompson and Phil Collins, which you can check out up here. Um, it, it's very similar in tonality, how they make it quite musical, and Taylor definitely does that. And uh, if any of you haven't seen Taylor Hawkins sing yet as well, that's something to behold. Um, he shares many similar traits to Dave Grohl as a drummer, which is why I've always been led to believe he was the only real contender to be the drummer for the Foo Fighters. Because Dave Grohl, if any of you have ever watched any documentary series about the Foo Fighters and how it all came about... And Dave Grohl saying that the drummer that did the session work on the first album just said it's not good enough. And then Dave Grohl himself replayed it um, only for Taylor to then come in. But even Taylor never felt truly accepted I, at the beginning, I don't think. I think he felt on edge to be around someone like Dave Grohl. Um, but they just became brothers. And you can tell just by... Taylor Hawkins demeanor how how he is how he's going to be just a very relaxed chilled down-to-earth guy and you are going to be sorely missed by everyone and my thoughts go out to all of your friends and family co-workers who knew you personally uh in this tough time and may your music and your drumming live forever um through any form of sources by listening to the original songs getting everyone's feedback on him through youtube or any other media such as twitch instagram i've seen nothing but love come out about about the guy so i yeah thought thoughts go out to all those who knew him personally and uh yeah a terrible loss but I'm going to end the video there. Um, if you do like what I do, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a future video. And if you want to watch any more of my drum reaction videos, they will be appearing on screen now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care.